I'm doing thumbnails, thumbnails for my comic book, the next issue of Realm Ethereal, which is going to be issue number four. Uh, and this is kind of how I do my pages with thumbnails. So I, I have a basic plot that I've written, and then what I do first is I plan out the page sequences, and I just use like an Excel file. Uh, in this case, I'm using a uh, Google Google Sheet, I think it is Google Sheets. So this just shows exactly pretty much like the pacing of what needs to be featured on each page. Just a quick summation of what goes, what I'm going to feature on that page or draw on that page. And then it's all set up as a template like this. And you notice that there's like these, these color bars at the bottom, different colors. So what that does is it allows me to, when I'm doing the thumbnail here in Procreate, it allows me to then break up the sequences as I'm drawing them in the actual theme thumbnail based on that same color code. So if you look here, you know, there's this burgundy color little block at the bottom and that corresponds to all the different sections that you just saw in that spreadsheet. And then of course, based on that, th those descriptions, I then create my thumbnails. And my thumbnailing is being done in Procreate and you know, I'm making little notes along the way as I create this artwork here and eventually this artwork will all be drawn full size, fully rendered, and then probably as is often the case, I do make adjustments as I'm working on this story. Uh, it's just inevitable that things like that happen because when you're thumbnailing it really quick and then as you're actually taking time to draw, um, things pop into your head and then you know, there's always a constant like you know back and forth between between the uh, my layouts um, and the uh, the plot. So there you go.